Hey yo, what is good, YouTube man? It's your boy, Crackman Stevie Burn. I'm back with another banger. Now listen, bro. Today's video, I'm going over the official multiverse character tier list after Evo. As y'all can see, I added some new, I added a new tier S plus because no character in the game is lower than B. Literally none. And basically, with this tier list, bro, I'm basically going to be going off how good a character plays. Now, hear me out. A pro player, like a top tier player, can play a Taz and go on like a 20 game win streak. And then have a whole bunch of, you know what I'm saying, his viewers or subscribers, whatever, supporters, whatever it may be, saying, oh, Taz, new plus best player in the game. No, it's strictly because of who's playing the character and how they show off how good a character is. That's strictly what it is. But look, I'm going to begin into this multiverse's tier list. I just want I just wanted to I just wanted to say that real quick so y'all understand where I'm coming from with this. Now look, Batman is first. Batman easily S tier. He's easily S tier and there's nowhere else that I could put Batman at like he's nowhere lower than a he has abilities that's broken his battering alone puts him in S tier that's a fact also his bat bomb like it's not too much I have to say about him and if you really really know what you're doing with him you could go crazy and that's a fact I don't care what no one says to you I don't care what no one's saying I don't care bro he's definitely an S tier character for sure and there's not many characters that are better than him that's a fact, especially on this list right here. Next character is Arya. She has to go in the A tier. Now, I know before I would probably say, nah, she's definitely an S tier character. No, she's not S tier anymore. She's in the A tier. She just she just doesn't have too many broken things about her. Hence the reason why I have to put her in A tier. One is because I think she's the lightest character in the game, so she definitely does die fast. I think you can kill her at 100 damage. And that's already an L. So she has to go probably in A tier, probably low A tier, if I'm being honest. Mainly because how fast she dies. Clearly you can get off combos, but if you're playing against a sweat, you're not getting off no combos with Arya. That's a fact, bro. It's, it's just a fact. Now, next character is Bugs Bunny. Do I have to even say to do I have to even say too much, bro? If you fully learn how to use his character, bro, and he's not that hard to learn. You know what I'm saying? He's like mid mid learning tier like he's easy but not too hard he's definitely in between and once you fully get this character down bro he's obviously s plus tier and it's just a fact no character almost no characters up here with him and that's just it's just the fact one he's a mage character which makes him overpower two he's he's devious at long range and close range which is crazy and three he's good in all moves like he's running the 2v2 leaderboards and he's a good 1v1 player if you learn how to use him, if you learn how to use him right. Next character is Finn. Now, Finn easily is an S tier. Honestly, you could say that he's an A tier because when he gets his patch, hopefully it's not too crazy of a patch. All they're really gonna do is fix, fix his hitboxes, but he for sure is an S tier. That's a fact, bro. Like, it, it, it's just the honesty. He's not better than Batman, but he's for sure not probably worse than any other character that I'm probably gonna put on this S list, probably besides Gamma, but we're gonna get to that later. So yeah, definitely, Finn is definitely right here. Till his hit boxes and stuff get fixed, bro, he's definitely an S tier, that's a fact. Harley Quinn, over Arya, over Arya. I just have to say it, she's definitely over Arya. That's just a fact, I cannot say that she's not over Arya. One, she's a little bit heavier than Arya, which isn't really that much of an advantage because they still both die fast, but Harley's combos is way more cleaner. She doesn't have ex extreme crazy cooldowns like Arya does, but she only has like two. And when you're using Harley, she's a lot more easier for anyone to just pick up and just go crazy with. Plus she has an infinite combo. That puts her in A tier alone. Come on, seriously, like serious. All right, listen bro, for Jake bro, it, 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 it's, it's, it's kind of wild bro. Jake. I really have a vivid opinion of how I think he should be ranked because if you haven't noticed recently, bro, he's been gaining up on the gaining up on, you know what I'm saying, how good a character is. One, he's one of the most annoying characters in the game. Two, he can be really good at times and then he can be really bad at times. Three, he's literally running the 1v1 leaderboards. So I definitely have to put him slightly, just slightly below Arya. But he's definitely a top tier character in this game and don't look at you know what i'm saying a tier and say oh well if they're in a tier that means that they're probably bad no 
they can be crazy they can go crazy it's just strictly who is behind the sticks using them bro hear me out it's strictly who's behind the sticks using them and that's a fact now garnet i know this is probably gonna let, uh, hurt a lot of garnet um mains and stuff but if i'm being honest bro no garnet is not that good of a character i know that that's going to make a lot of people angry but no she's definitely not that good of a character she can be countered by a lot a lot a lot of things and almost every character in the game can stop garnet now she does have a projectile that makes her kind of op because trying to get close to her is literally like a nightmare but if you know what you're doing she's not that good of a character it's it's just the honesty now after evo strictly off of watching other people playing with you know what i'm saying rain dog he's definitely an esther not because how good the players are with rain dog it's because of how good the players i'm mean, it's because of how let me say the skill the skill it's because of how skilled and how much grinding it takes to be good with rain dog you know what i'm saying he's not just like a basic character that you can just hop on like shaggy or something and do good regardless he's definitely an s-tier character i think he pushed um tom and jerry in wonder woman then uh the cats then the cat and uh gs and void duo to literally their limits they almost lost so yeah rain dog the player that was playing rain dog he definitely knows what he's doing he's deaf the rain dog is definitely an s-tier i try to explain this to people He's not that bad of a character, but if you don't if you don't know how to use him, clearly I wouldn't pick him up. But if you fully take him to his best, you know what I'm saying, abilities, he's definitely an Esther character for sure. Shaggy is next. Now, I know this is probably gonna hurt a lot of Shaggy mains, uh a lot of Shaggy mains um fillings and stuff like that. But if I have to be honest, he's definitely an A tier. He's not an S tier character yet, but he's definitely an A tier character. Kinda because if I'm looking at it, he's kind of basic. He has everything that a character would need, but it's nothing too overpowered about him. He's definitely not under Arya because he has a little weight to him, but he's definitely not a bad character for sure. Now, Superman. Have to put Superman above above um, Rain Dog for sure. I definitely have to. Now, you could argue that Rain Dog is better than Superman, which is, you know what I'm saying, I, I respect the argument, but in my opinion, no. No, we're putting Superman right here. He, Brain Dog is not better than Superman, in my opinion. Like, it takes way too long to get good with Rain Dog. And plus, he's mainly only good in 2v2. He's not that good in ones. And he's barely that good in free for all. So I definitely have to put him in S tier, for sure. Superman is definitely above Rain Dog. That's, that's not even an argument. Like, come on. I, I don't know why people are overrating it just because one player, one person played really good with them. That doesn't mean everyone's going to be good with them. And that's a fact. Steve Universe, uh, top of I'm at bottom of A tier. He's not getting no higher. Uh, I don't know why people are saying that he's S plus and S tier. That's wild. He's not that good of a character. He's barely better than Garnet. You know what I'm saying he's barely better than Garnet. Only reason why I'm saying he's bottom of A tier is because right now in the game, uh, I am a, I am I think my Steven is level 13, and I can honestly say that he's nowhere near that high. In the beginning of the game, I was using him a lot. And then I realized that a lot of characters are better than him. And it's not because of how good I was using his character. Like, I think I went on like a 17 game win streak with Steven. I just slowly started to realize how many, like how many uh, weaknesses his character has. And it's not even funny. Like just his fighting skill set alone can say that, just can show that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what a lot of people's ranking Steven at, but he's definitely not higher than anyone else on A tier. That's a fact. I don't know why people are probably overrating him um yeah taz definitely a b tier character like I, I, he's the worst character in the game not the worst character because he still has good stuff about him but if we had to go off this list and all of the characters in the game right now taz is at the bottom the patch really killed this character and i don't see anyone using him anymore that's that's a fact and it's nothing to, it's nothing crazy to say you know what i'm saying it's nothing crazy to say next character is iron giant he's at the top of b tier if you're using them in twos, you actually know what you're doing. You could slap. You could destroy. Arguably, people are saying he's the best twos character in the game next to Velma. But uh, no. In 1v1, free for all, he's dog. Dog poop. Dog poop. He's literally a combo machine. Only thing good about him is you can get him with 250 damage and you don't die. Which is pretty crazy. But yeah. Um, Iron Giant, definitely a B tier character. Um, uh, Tom and Jerry. Now... A lot of people can argue that Tom and Jerry is at top of S, but 
straight off of watching GSM Void play Tom and Jerry alone puts him in S plus tier. It shows you how good the character can actually be. He wasn't just he wasn't just sweaty, bro. He was actually using his abilities to the best it can possibly go, like to the farthest extent. Like seriously, Tom and Jerry is definitely S plus, and I know it's probably gonna make a lot of people mad, but it's a fact. Like I don't know if y'all remember this, but before he was like when he was about to lose, bro, he started hitting people with triple dynamite, bro. It was crazy, bro. That's all I'm saying. He was going crazy with Tom and Jerry, and that's a fact. I know a lot of people can't accept it, but it's a fact. Uh, Velma, I know a lot of people gonna put her S plus tier, but no, she's an S tier character. It's just something missing about her character that just doesn't put her in S plus. I don't know if people can, I don't know if people can agree with me, but it's just something missing about her character. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say about her character, bro. It's something missing to put her in that. Just give her the extra oomph to go to S plus. I don't know. That's just me. I know a lot of people gonna hate on that, but. It is what it is. It is what it is. Wonder Woman. Definitely not worse than definitely not worse than Rain Dog. I'm pretty sure in a cat uh play with Tom with the Tom and Jerry duo. Yeah, and he's using Wonder Woman. Um it literally shows how good Wonder Woman can possibly be. She's definitely an S tier character, but she's definitely not better than any other character on this list. Any other S character or any other S plus. She doesn't have anything crazy about her character that just goes, oh, I'm super overpowered. Um, her armor goes away in one hit, just like every other armor, John. It only stays on for a little bit, so that doesn't even make her overpowered. And her lasso, you could barely argue that that is super good, because it's not. Like, it, it's okay, but there's nothing else that makes her character super good. It's a fact. Honestly, you could put her in A tier, but I'm gonna leave her right here, just above Rain Dog. Um, LeBron James, bro. Like, I don't know, he was good the first day he came out, but now, uh, he's pushing, like, Steven vibes like he's pushing near Steven I don't know why people was calling him an S plus tier character before or an S tier character before but no he's barely making it into A tier he's barely better than Steven the only reason why I'll say he's better than Steven is because of his ball and that's literally the only reason if he didn't have the ball bro no he would not be better than Steven but you have to give LeBron a ball how else he's gonna how else is he gonna do anything so yeah this is definitely the new Multiverse's character to tell us after Evo. Now, I don't care what y'all say. I don't care if y'all dis disagree with me, bro. Just let me know what y'all think of the character to tell in the comments. Now, Rick and Morty is not in the game yet, but I can for sure say that uh, Rick will probably be right here next to next to Batman. He for sure will be right here. That's a fact. Morty, probably uh, top of A tier for a fact. He's not going to be better than any of these characters. For what I've seen, and you know what I'm saying, you can't really see any uh, no Morty gameplay, but from what I've seen, I'm saying because some creators get that inside, inside. But yeah, what I've seen, no, he, he's definitely right here. Probably lower than Ar probably lower than Harley. I don't know. But yeah, that is my Multiverses character tier list, the official Multiverses character tier list after Evo. And I think a lot of people can agree. If you disagree, it is what it is. Let me know, what a Let me know about it in the comments, bro, because I want to hear what y'all got to say. But anyway, bro, I'm out. Peace.